What a f***ing gorgeous cord. That's not even on here. That's like an SSSSS tier. That's like Nazi secret police are jealous tier of how many S's there are. Who could possibly have an opinion about guitar chords? Well, guitar players, that's for damn sure. No, not all guitar chords are made equal. Maybe a little bit on a piano, they're pretty much made equal. There's not like super awkward basic chord shapes on a piano. On a guitar, guitar is just a funky ass instrument, man. Is it the worst instrument? Absolutely not. But then I would have nothing to complain about. So we can just start off by getting this joke out of the way ahead of time. Yes, I put all of the guitar chords in the tier that corresponds to their name. Ha ha, so, ah, so funny, funny dad. dad. All right, first up is A minor. Hmm. I'm in between A and S tier. You know what, I'm gonna go S tier. It's a freaking legendary chord. You've heard it used in Tenacious D. You've heard it used in Metallica, Fade to Black, which, what was that again? Oops. Something like that, I haven't played that song in forever. It's used in Ain't Talking About Love. For a hard rocker or a metalhead, it is a quintessential chord shape that is used all the time in so many freaking awesome songs. It's pretty damn natural to get to, to just automatically be like, boom, we're there. That's an S tier chord in my book. A minor seven chord, I'm gonna put that in B tier. It's a little bit easier to play than regular A minor. And it has a nice ring to it, but it very much relegates itself to like, Soft, I'm pretending to be cool if I'm from the 1940s type of sound. The only reason why Pink Floyd got away with that is because it sounds bluesy, not because it's interesting. If you do it in the right context, it can be cool. Like, it's okay, but it's not the most interesting chord up front. I think it borrows a lot of its coolness from its dad, A minor. All right, the A chord I am gonna throw into the C tier. It's a little harder to play by stacking your fingers, which you're supposed to stack them like this or what the fuck ever. I've always learned it the wrong way, so I'm gonna continue to play it the wrong fucking way. It's taking your A minor shape and moving it up a half step. It's a little bit more crowded on the feel, on the fretboard. You don't get nearly as many cool songs to play with this. I mean, I mean, yeah, you got the freaking Tom Petty song, the freaking running on a dream, really gotta take a pee, stung by a bee, other things rhyme with me, the song is lame shit. Fucking, I hate that song. I hate how this is supposed to be cool. Like, yeah, maybe that's cool when I was like 12 years old and didn't know how to play a guitar at all. Cause it's like, oh my God, I can play something. But like, in all honesty, in the pantheon of guitar learning, that song is so fucking lame. There's some cool things you can do with the A major chord, but all in all, it just reminds me of things like this. People not using it for the A major chord itself, but instead trying to re-blues modalize an E chord. And it's just like, you guys suck. You know what, if we're gonna go full dad mode, we may as well go to A7. We're gonna go real Tom Petty world, and we're really gonna try and make this blues, and then we're gonna do B7, right? So we got our 12 bar blues. I mean, that's all it's ever gonna remind me of is just like the most beginner, boringest, shittiest parts of guitar. All right, the B minor chord. I'm gonna make this a B and here's why. It's not the most intuitive to play. All you're really doing is taking this shape from A minor and moving it up two frets, but then you're like, oh, well we also have to move the open string up two frets. So this is where you get your beginners of barring when it comes to chords. 
it's different from all of the other chords. And this is at your stage of guitar playing where you start to unlock yourself from down here at the third fret, basically. And you're like, oh, I can take these shapes everywhere. And that actually starts to get interesting and unlocks possibilities. So that's why I move it up quite a bit. That and I would say in general, B minor is kind of a nice sound. It reminds me a little bit of, uh, what the hell's the name of that song? Shot in the Dark. Which it, it's supposed to be B flat, but they, they tune down a half step, but they still play at the the B fret, the same shape at the same fret. So there's cool things about B minor, but at the same time, it was a lot of like kind of painful memories of trying to get that under my hands. So there's like a little bit of resentment involved with B minor. B major is absolutely an F. Fuck B major, B major fucking sucks. A lot of the things that I hate about A major can be applied to B major and how lame the voicing is. But on top of all of that, it fucking sucks dick to play. I, to this day, cannot and will not be able to get this proper bar chord down so that I bar the whole way across cleanly and get that high F sharp in there on the two fret of the E string. I'm always just like, fuck you. F sharp can suck a fucking dick. I'm barring it like this, like a fucking caveman. You're not missing that F sharp, I promise you. This is what it's gonna be. And now you have this awkward shape that sucks to play because I'm barring this thing like a fucking caveman. And it also sounds boring as shit and sounds lazy. I hate it. I fucking hate B fucking major. It goes in F tier. What a shitty fucking chord. C add nine, I'm gonna have to make A tier. The only reason why it's not S tier is because it's a fucking pop songwriter cliche at this point. That's the only thing it gets downgraded for is because there's like a smidgen of hate that I have for it that every talentless fucking ass clown who thinks that they're so fucking tasteful as an artist uses this chord every, sing every single fucking time. That's C add nine, which don't get me wrong, fucking gorgeous chord. And the reason why they use it is because it's gorgeous, but the other reason why is because they can't play a fucking guitar and it's really easy to play. It's so easy to play to get such a beautiful sound. Great voicing, beautiful chord in general. I mean, hey, can you blame them? But, and that's why it's not, you know, any lower. It's like, I can't really blame them because it sounds fucking great. This shape is the basis for my chorus for Won't Be Saved. If you guys haven't heard that one yet, go check that out. Won't Be Saved is on Spotify and also a cringeworthy lyric video somewhere on YouTube. Yeah, you just take that shape, slide it up, now make it minor. Ah, shit. That actually wasn't in the song, but it's how I play it now. It's kind of fun to go from. Ah, I can't play it on the fucking acoustic. It wasn't meant for acoustic guitar anyway. Eat shit. Either way, point is. This became a very long love interest I have had with Ad9 and Sus9. Holy shit. Nine is such a fucking magical note. Oh, the easiest right here. A minor, Ad9. That's fucking, that's the ending of Tenacious D's tribute. That is the fucking bulk of Call of Cthulhu by Metallica. What a fucking gorgeous chord. That's not even on here. That's like an SSSSS tier. That's like Nazi secret police are jealous tier of how many S's there are. C major seven, I'll put it in C tier. It's I. So it's super easy to play, which is part of what is like kind of nice about it. I find that it sounds quite nice and I enjoy it, but I feel like its utility is overused a lot in certain songs merely because of how easy it is to play and because it's not just a regular ass C chord. I feel like it's not put in a lot of songs very tastefully. For example of a place that it was placed tastefully. Something in the way she moves. 
attracts me like no other lover. That's a tasteful way of using it. You're using the uh, the one, then walking it down to that major seven, and then go into the minor seven afterwards. So you're having this chromatic move down, and then that minor seven becomes the dominant of that modulation to F. You know, so it's like, okay, that's cool. And, and that's a cool use of C minor seven, but a lot of times it's just dumb shit. Uh, I use the C minor seven shape, not the literal chord, but the shape, and code name it. So it's like that different names. I moved the, uh, ma the major seven up a half step, and then you just move the whole thing down a half step. Yeah, oh, and there you are at the C minor seven, or sorry, C major seven. Ah, oh, I hate myself. Different names, yet all the same. That's a weird voicing for a flat six chord, but either way, you get the point. It can be cool, but a lot of times it's lame as shit. Regular ass C chord, I will put in B tier. Um, again, it's one of the first chords you learn, so it kind of gets that stigma of being like basic bitch material. But at the same point, there's something really nice about it. And I would say of the chord shapes that you can bar, this one is one of the harder ones to actually utilize in that space. Something like this. You're not immediately gonna learn to bar this thing because you're really just barring those notes there. So that's kind of cool about it is it's like, oh, okay, this adds a little extra world of challenge, but then again, it also makes it harder for a beginner to unlock and realize how to really move that up and down the fretboard. But an easy way to get around that is by doing a first inversion by, instead of just barring those strings, you pop it the whole way across. Now you got your major third in the bottom. which can be cool. C is rarely used as the tonal center on guitar songs, and I would say more often used as a flat six against E minor. There's your C, then D, then E minor. You know, every Iron Maiden fucking song ever. Or it'll be used as the relative major against A minor, so you got your minor here. A minor, C major. So that's how like a C would normally function in a, an A minor type of setting there. D7, I'ma put that in D tier. It's so infrequently used, especially in that shape. If I'm gonna go D7, 90% of the time, I'm gonna be up here barring this shitty fucking B shape and playing it like this. Same thing as playing this. I think it's literally the same voicing too. Plus, with this, instead of having to squeeze my fucking middle finger in here, I can actually bar the entire way down the extension and get that top note now. So instead of getting this lame piece of shit, because you're a capo player with no fucking talent and you don't want to put any effort in, you get an extra extension off of that voicing. So you know what? Go fuck yourself. I'm probably not even using the word extension right. Frankly, I don't care. Bitch about it in the comments below. I will laugh at you. D7 is such a lame dick fucking chord. D is for dick. D minor, I'm gonna put in A tier. Very pretty. Very haunting. And also very bright and thin. It has a, a bit of delicateness to it because it is only using the top four strings of the guitar right here. And because of that, you get a much thinner timbre. You don't get quite the warmth that you would from say an E minor chord that low end. Reason why I love this chord is because of Call of Cthulhu, pretty much exclusively. Something like that, I don't know, it's been a long time and I hate acoustic guitars. Specifically because of how fucking awesome that D minor chord made me feel because of that song, it's an A tier for me. Fucking sue me if you're upset about it. D chord, I'll put it in C tier. There is something admirable about it. 
it is the five against the G, which is helpful. It's also, the, it, because of that, the flat seven against the E minor. So I wind up using it a lot when I'm a fucking kid and, you know, everything has to be an E minor as a metal head because it's the lowest available tuning, right? But it's so fucking rarely used as a tonic center. And when it is, I feel like most times it kind of sucks. Okay, for example, D minor also uses that Everlast song, What It's Like. D, I feel like... It, I don't remember the songs. I remember mostly just fucking... Then going back to my, my, this American pie. I always think about it as the five. It's always the five to the G, because the G is used so much more fucking often. Way more often. All right, next up for some reason is E7. I'm gonna put that in like C tier, I guess. Nah, you know what? That's gonna go in D tier. That is so infrequently used in a cool way. Again, this goes back to that whole dad thing of using E7 as like a blues root. Every time you hear that, you're gonna think of freaking the first thing you ever learn to play on a freaking guitar, this E7 shit. Even though in reality, I think it works much better as the dominant to A. But that's besides the point. Also is kind of a lame dominant to A. Voice leading wise, it's not very satisfying. It kind of sucks a little bit. There's not much other utility for E7. Even the bar shape, you're rarely gonna use it in a maximally interesting way. It's just kind of like, well, there needs to be a seven chord here, usually because it's a dominant. So we're gonna have to use this one because it's the one that is easiest to play in the moment. You know, trying to make a, a little bit more interesting of a voicing out of it for your composition, I think is always cooler than making that shape, but that's just me. It's not the worst, but it kind of sucks. E minor, I'm gonna put that in A tier. As a metalhead, E minor is something we use far the fuck too often, but also because of that, I have an extraordinary amount of bias in its favor. And plus all these other chords that we talked about already work really well when you make E minor the tonal center. That was like a shitload of the first songs that I wrote was, all right, here's E minor. Obviously that's my tonal center. Uh, like, obviously. <laughs> so how am I going to use all these other chords that I know and work them into a song around E minor? <laughs> That's basically it. I think it just goes without fucking question. I mean, if we're going from the coast of gold across the seven, uh, seven seas. <laughs> how did I mess that up? Traveled on far and wide. But now it seems... I'm just a stranger to myself All these things I sometimes do See why the composition of Iron Maiden songs is boring It's like, it's, if, you're not, if you're taking the riffs and the tone out of it and the vocal performance, the actual composition itself is the most fucking boring. And for the record, I fucking love Wasted Years. It's one of my favorites of theirs. E major, I'm probably gonna have to put in C tier. A fundamental difference between E minor and E major. Yeah, it's the lowest on the uh, fretboard here that we can possibly get that's still like a regular ass chord that people are gonna use, but it's way less mean than E minor. It's, it's a completely different world. And because of the nature of the cycle of fifths and key signatures, you have like, Like, very few of these are gonna be natural to play. You know, you got, you got the A, but you don't even have the D. That's the thing, you don't even have the fucking D. The D's, the D's not in there naturally. So you basically have two of your basic shapes that belong in the key of E major. And because of that, it's more often used as the dominant of A minor. Or it can even be the dominant of A, but usually A minor, let's be honest. So you got like. Was the greatest song in the world, all right. It was the greatest song in the world, all right. And your motherfucking greatest song in the world. All right. 
It's actually way cooler, in my opinion, to do that uh, half step walk down and like just barely avoid the uh, the E, but then also imply it when you do the um, major seven. You got the E in the top voicing there. So it gives it like a little bit of exoticism, but then also prepares you to push back towards that uh, that A minor. So you get that. Fucking sexy. But either way, back to the point, E major kind of sucks on the guitar. F minor, uh, D it is so fucking infrequently used. Like this here. The only time I can really see this being used is like, which I think is something that Dream Theater does kind of ish in Ministry of Lost Souls. Other than that, I mean, the coolest thing about F minor is that you can use it as a bar shape to take anywhere on the fretboard and is technically a little bit easier to play than the E major shape barred, or I should say the F shape barred, which is what we're going to next. All right, because of that minor shape, and because I've actually done extensions off of it, like the uh, minor add nine here, like that's a pretty cool shape that builds off of that minor shape. It's a little bit harder, but it's cool. All right, you know what? I'll bump that up to C tier, only because it's minor and minor is superior in my stupid biased eyes. All right, the F chord though, is D tier, without a doubt in my frickin' mind. And the reason being is because, unlike this, now it's become minor. And I will say, this E voicing, which is the same as the F voicing, is nice. It's got a nice fullness to it. When you move it places, it, it's effective, but also at the same time, it was a bitch to learn. And I don't find that there's a ton of songs that I'm actually gonna write where I'm gonna be moving this F shape everywhere. Now, I will say, okay, you know what? I, I take back everything I said, and I mean that sincerely. F is going up to B tier. And the reason why is because my stupid ass completely forgot. It's the flat six of A. Now it's not A tier because it's a fucking bitch to play still. And it sounds way cooler and is easier to play if instead of barring the whole way down, you just put it uh, your pointer finger on the root note here. And you got that fucking mm, that B. Mm. And then you got that fucking E. Ah, it's so much more exotic and cool. But yeah, it's all right. F got a little bit of redemption. Par pardon my um, impetuousness. The G chord is going into S tier. I don't think there's any two ways about it, man. You are my brown eyed girl. Do you remember when we used to sing? Sha -la 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 there are so many awesome songs built off of one of the easiest chords to play. I always uh, finger it unorthodoxly. You're supposed to do it just like, just the pinky right there. I always just slam the bar on it because it still fits into the same exact chord. It's just a slightly different voicing. And that and also makes it easy to go between that C add nine we were talking about earlier and a G. So, I mean, there's just, uh, it's undeniable. Is it the most basic bitch chord? Arguably, yes. But at the same time, this voicing is fucking gorgeous. You can try to bar it, but it's just, it's not, it's not gonna happen, man. Unless you're like fucking Superman, or unless you're way up here. But no one's ever gonna do that it's still really fucking hard at least on the acoustic for sure so it's like it's magically tied here and it's such a distinct sound every time you hear it you know exactly what it is man 
It's delicious. And while it is basic bitch, I mean, it's just undeniably great. G7 chord, I'm gonna go ahead and put this bad boy in F tier. Again, this goes back to that whole anti-grandpa bias that I have. No one's ever gonna play a G7 chord this way if they're actually a guitar player. I kind of like this better anyway, the major seven. This is like something you get out of a songbook for someone who's just trying to communicate an idea across. It's one of the least musical guitar chord shapes there are. At that point, I would rather just figure out a different way of playing it in all honesty. You can do this, but it's like, how often am I really using G7? I mean, fucking G7 to C. How often am I using C as the tonal center of the song? Almost never. It's technically a chord you can learn on the guitar, but I feel like using this is gonna be way cooler. Gets you way more mileage using that major seven than the uh, minor seven, flat seven, however the fuck you wanna think about it. Ah, God, see? Landing there would have been so much cooler. Landing here, it's like, ah, fucking die. Anyway, so this is my tier list of guitar chords. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Happy fucking holidays and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Have a good time, guys.